Hey, my name is Durrell Grand Moultrie, and I am born and raised in New York City, Harlem to be exact. Being born and raised in Harlem, you pick up a rhythm when you're born into it. You have to dance. You have to know how to uh, react to what's going on musically. When growing up, you got to know the latest dances. Um, and I think I was kind of born into a dance culture. Uh, and I used to choreograph dances for the kids in my neighborhood. So I would choreograph like little dances in the hallways and the projects. And that's where the choreography bu uh, bug kind of got into me. In our junior high schools, we were very lucky. In elementary school, our outreach was going to see New York City Ballet, going to see Alvin Ailey, going to see Dance Theater of Harlem. So that was my early uh, introduction to dance. I started taking musical theater classes, uh, I studied at the Harvard Conservatory for the Performing Arts in East Harlem. Landed at LaGuardia High School from LaGuardia. I actually went to Towson University in Maryland for one year. Studied there, worked hard, auditioned for Juilliard, got in Juilliard, stayed there for four years, and that's where I started really pushing my choreography full time. So I heard about NCI through dancers, actually, which is sometimes the best recommendation. I was at Ballet Met, actually, and I heard about it uh, through a dancer at Ballet Met, Adrian. And when I heard about it, I thought, what a very, very cool thing, you know. First of all, it's in sunny California. It's um, a lab, a lab where you come create. There's no pressure. Uh, and I knew I wanted to do it just because I... I'm in a lot of situations where I have to choreograph pieces very quickly, and there's a stress that's involved in that process. Uh, and I knew here it would be nice, it's just three hours a day, I get to create, I get to work, I get to change, uh, and uh, so I jumped on it. I came with a clean slate, as I always do. I try to go to companies with a clean slate because I like to create the movement for the dancers that I'm working with. The piece is in five sections. Um, they're not the longest sections. There's one section that I really feel like, for me, was really a step out of the, uh, my comfort zone. And it's an intimate duet for two women uh, that I'm very excited about. It's um. It's so rare that we get to see two women in a duet that's supportive, that's loving, that um, it takes a lot of concentration. Uh, and I'm very excited to, to present that here in California, this special duet. And then the other sections were just like, it's, it's my constant way of trying to discover dancers and figure out how they move, what they do. Uh, I never like it to be a place where I just come and create. I actually like the dancers to get something from the process. This is a, it's a, it's a double experience. It's kind of like a, a, a dance clinic <laughs> and also a choreography lab. How do I choreograph? That's the million dollar question. Do I tell you? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, do I make it up? Do I make it up in my room? Do I think of ideas? Do I think of thoughts? No. It all comes right out of my head, kind of like on the spot. Like I'm always thinking about how do I want to see this group enter? How do I want to see this soloist come out? Um, how do I want the piece to maybe start? And you never really know when that inspiration is going to hit you. So for me, it really falls right out of the head, kind of like step by step. It just keep going. It's kind of what I feel, you know, we go on that. And I just told you my secret, so I have to kill you. <laughs>